Sometimes the grass grows and sometimes it doesn't. And when nobody's here to sear it and to nurture it, it doesn't. When people bring false charges against others, and lie, and cheat, and steal, it doesn't really matter because this is what life is about. It's not about riches. It's about nurturing, taking care of, having compassion, joy, honesty. taking care of what isn't yours anyways. It all belongs to God. Even what you think you create is only the essence of what is already an ecosystem. It's God's, it's not ours. God created it for to take care of it. You can say, well, God didn't create a house. No, that's true. But man has to adapt to his environment. He do does so by changing the environment, but at the same time, allowing the ecosystem that God put into place in the first instance to continue. And that means watering where there is no water, getting the correct elevations having a care for life that most don't have no amount of drugs or medical prescriptions are going to change how you view your environment The reality is still what the reality is. If you live in a dump, that's what you have. And the outside, or the essence of the home, tells you what kind of person lives there. Is the person honest? Is he trustworthy? Does he care about others? Does he care about how he looks to his neighbors? Does he have honesty, compassion? It's not about money. You can have all the money in the world and not be happy. You can have all the land in the world and not be happy. It's about what you do with your little corner of the world. Whatever little corner that is. As far as I'm concerned, everything I have the Lord God above provided it. We live in a fragile environment and a social economic condition created by man. How can people hate others? I don't understand that. How can you hurt others? How can you lie, cheat, steal? How can people be greedy. Is no one happy with what they have? I could be living in my car, I'd be happy. Or nowhere. Hey baby. That's Pleiades. That's Mama Dog. Mama Dog's got ten puppies. We gave one away already, so we're down to nine. And that's Orion. He's the protector of this property, aren't you, baby? Yes, you are. So you can hurt people all you want. You can cause stress, hatefulness, anxiety. The bottom line is, all that you've done to another, you've done to yourself.
do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Call it karma or goodwill or compassion or caring or love. But I don't think humanity knows what love is. They think it's love of money, love of property, love of what you gain. But it's really love of what you leave behind. What you give to others. What you've created for others to see. If others see something that's beautiful, nurtured, seared, taken care of, puts a smile on the face. They see lights at night, they know it's a safe place and they come and knock on the door and they ask for money. They ask for compassion. How many of you have given to people in need? I gave up my last paycheck because the gentleman was in need. Does color Thickness of skin, race, or creed make any difference to the compassion you should have for humankind and mankind? And the answer is no, it shouldn't. Absolutely not.